Welcome back to Portside. The University of Portland men's tennis team just wrapped up the most successful season in program history, which culminated in the team's first ever West Coast Conference regular season title. Aaron Gross earned WCC Coach of the Year honors, while Mike Pervilarakis was the conference player of the year. The future is bright for the pilots who will return every single contributor to their lineup from this season. It was more successful than I could have imagined. To have the kind of season that we had, you know, if you told me before, I think I would have said, hey, we'd have to be pro probably totally healthy and we definitely have to get a little lucky. We had several matches where we were definitely down a person. Those are two positive things looking back that I think that makes me feel like if we can stay, if we can be even more healthy next year, we could, you know, we could go farther. The gain that we get is that we can be more active up here because we know we have a partner who's going to cover for us. Pepperdine and San Diego are the only two teams to have ever won the conference. It's such a long season and if you look too long term at the season, I think it just takes you so out of focus, both the coaches and the players. I always told myself I'd never use Reed for some kind of cheap like motivational thing and I think I'm being true to myself when I say that today. I think that it reminds me of him just because it was a you know, huge turning point for our program when we beat these guys two years ago. And the thing I remember about Reed during that whole year was other than Steve Johnson, I don't know if there's anybody that I'd rather go into a match with because he always thought something really cool could happen, you know? And sometimes it didn't. And you know, Reed, life went on, you know? But it was like he had zero fear of failure. We got down to that last weekend and, you know, we kind of knew we had to beat Pepperdine to finish first. It was like, okay, well, that was only a four-day period that we actually knew that that could be the case. We may not win today, but what would Reed do today? Reed would think, we're going to win, you know? He'd walk around to every one of you, look you in the eye and convince you that you're going to win. At that point, you're just trying to keep expectations down because no one plays better when they put that kind of pressure on themselves. What's the worst case scenario, you know? We're going to lose this thing, you know? We're going to, play, we're going to wake up tomorrow and play again. We're going to wake up next weekend and we're going to be played to see if we can go to the NCAA tournament. So, you know, if he comes out and he beats you, great. But, you know, when you get that short midcourt and it hits, clips the net and misses by six inches wide, you'll be like, on to the next one, okay? On to the next one, okay? Let's do it. The fact that how we stuck through that whole match, that whole day, and just were just consistent, we didn't go high and low, it, it kind of was just indicative of our whole season. And it was, you know, it doesn't always work out that way, but it was really cool to see the match kind of almost, you know, mimic what our season looked like. The biggest surprise to me probably was the fact that we lost six doubles points and we still won those matches. We just have six guys that just would pick it up and get back out there and go to work and know they just had to win one extra point. And they're all focused on doing their job and winning their match anyway. And so I think that a very positive surprise was just how well we, we handled adversity, I think, over the course of the year. We'll learn from the doubles, but we know that doesn't carry over to the singles, okay, unless we let it and we haven't let it, okay? So just go out there and know that there's no opponent on the other side of the net who's more insurmountable than yourself. I really respect and appreciate the way he got the player of the year. I think he got it because he won a lot, but he also got it because he really handles himself well on the court. There you go, there you go. Great shot, way to lean. Whole different game in singles. Can't body you up so much in singles. Start back a little bit more. Returns, okay, be good. There was a player ranked ahead of him and, and the coaches still thought enough of him and how he compared, I mean, I can only assume how he comports himself on the court. Then that, that's pretty cool, that's special. Yeah. Nice match, nice the battle. I think the kind of kids that I've been able to get here are the kids to see what's important. It's just a super motivated group and, and they're like-minded people and most of the time when you get those kind of people together, they, they click. Barcelona, Barcelona, Barcelona. Let's go. I think that he deserves that more than any coach on this earth. The time and work and effort he put into every single one of us every single day, you know, he deserves that, you know, and, and we will do everything possible 
to make that happen for them. And so like, I'm just, you know, I'm overcome with joy, you know, just because I get to share that, you know, share, share the conference title with him now and then. I mean, it's just almost a surreal feeling. Without Aaron, no one would have been here. I'm super thankful for the opportunity he has given all of us. How they are with people on campus and, you know, each other and my kids and, you know, anybody's kids, you know, the kids day in, in San Diego. I mean, it's just, uh, I'm super proud of how, how these kids carry themselves. And uh, frankly, I don't get and, or take much of the credit. I mean, just amazing families. You hear them talk about their families. The families follow us on Facebook and, and, and re, repost our, our stories. And you just see the love and support that these kids get from a world away from them. And it's just, you know, you get why they are who they are. Okay, let's go mini pilots. Are you guys team two or three? Do you guys know what team you are? We're three. I'm Alex, by the way. What's your name? Ava. Ava. You guys are professional, huh? You played tennis before? Yeah. Oh, I'm sure you guys did. Good. You guys inspired me now. I want to play tennis. Good. That's what we want to hear. I love hearing that. Like that. And just one like this. Like that. Good job. Good job. Pretty good. Very good. This recruiting cycle has just kind of continued where I lose four or five really special people at a time, and that's tough. It makes me a little sad even knowing that it's just one year, but again, we got a lot, a lot of time to go between now and then, and I think there's some special things that we can accomplish. I do think we'll be better prepared for it next year.